वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड स्टेइंग सेफ एंड इन टूडेज एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू बी कवरिंग वन ऑफ द नेशनल ब्यूटी पैजेंट दट गोज ऑन इन इंडिया विच इज ग्लैम आनंद सुपर मॉडल इंडिया सो मेनी ऑफ यू हैव बी आस्किंग मी अबाउट दिस पैजेंट एंड आस्किंग मी टू मेक अ वीडियो अबाउट इट सो हियर आई एम फाइनली and if this is your cup of tea then keep watching but before all of that don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so many of you have been watching the videos but not subscribed because i do repost your stories so this is a shout out to all of those guys please do subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me and also if you are interested in preparing for your pageants through q and a series that i have started on my channel then go ahead and click on the join button right next to the subscribe button and based on a very nominal monthly subscription fee you will be able to access videos where i talk about pageant questions how to approach them how you should be answering them and i also announce the winning answer every week and now that that is out of the way let's get into the video so first things first i want to talk about the eligibility criteria for this pageant and so the eligibility criteria is that you have to be between 18 to 28 years old and your height has to be 5 feet and 5 inches and above Also, all Indian NRI or OCI card holders are eligible for this pageant. Now, my favorite part about the eligibility criteria for this pageant is that anyone who is eligible is eligible to be in the winning position. So, even if you are not an Indian citizen, if you are NRI or OCI card holder, that doesn't mean that you cannot win it. Same goes for the age criteria as well, and I think that's a really inclusive criteria here, which is different from the other national beauty pageants. where after a certain age limit or if you're not an indian citizen officially you are only eligible for the runner up but that is not in the case for glamour and supermodel india so kudos to the pageant for this criteria the next thing that you need to know about this pageant is about the registration slash participation fee and this is a major concern for most of the contestants and aspirants that come into the pageant industry and so there is great news for all of you that there is absolutely no registration fee for this pageant and the company takes care of all the expenses when it comes to the national and international pageant for the winners again i think the glamour and group is doing a great job for us for by not burdening the contestants with additional registration expenses apart from the other expenses that the pageants do come in with already so i'm really happy to hear that and the aspirants don't have to shell out any other money apart from the expenses on their wardrobe makeup heels and everything else Now if you're a pageant aspirant the next thing that you would want to know is what are the titles rewarded to the contestants and what are the international pageant opportunities that you would get by becoming a part of this pageant and so the glamour and supermodel india annually selects one representative to go into one of the big four international pageants that is miss international apart from that the glamour and supermodel india pageant also sends a representative to miss multinational pageant as well which is an international pageant organized by the glamour and group itself which also organizes the miss teen diva pageant if you haven't watched my video about miss teen diva then i'm going to link it over here so please go watch that if you're a teen pageant aspirant you would definitely want to know about such opportunities Apart from these two international pageants the Glam Anand pageant also sends its winners to represent India in Miss Grand International Miss Earth Miss Teen International and other pageants they have taken the franchise of Miss Grand International very recently and sent Simran Sharma exclusively selected by the Glam Anand group to represent India in the 8th edition of MGI and she is doing an excellent job and i cannot wait to see her getting placed If you've been watching the video so far then I would love for you to take a screenshot of it and post it on your social media and don't forget to tag me as well I love reposting your stories as always and if this pageant is sounding interesting to you and you would like to register then I'm going to leave the registration link for Glam Anand Supermodel India in the description box below so don't forget to check it out if you want to register for the next edition of the pageant Talking about registration let's talk about the selection process how do you register how do you audition and the whole process of Glam Anand Supermodel India So the first thing that you have to do is go down to the link in the description box below and apply for the pageant. Now this involves you filling out a form, uploading your photos with the basic details, answering questions such as what is your past pageant experience, why do you want to win this pageant and other questions which are given in the form. You'd also be asked to describe yourself in a couple of words and once you've filled out all the answers to the questions and submitted to the form that is the completion of the first step towards your registration for the Glam Anand pageant. Now based on these profiles there is a shortlisting done after which you will be asked to submit videos of yourself doing a ramp walk and also there will be a personal interview round which will happen through online zoom call or in person depending on what the covid situation in the world is and one thing to remember here is that there is absolutely no state format when it comes to the glam anand supermodel india pageant so there is no fixed number of finalists that make it to the final round Now this year based on the profile shortlisting and the ramp walk videos and introduction videos and the interview round a total of 27 finalists were 
taken into the final round and so that is the pageant that is currently going on right now the original finale for the pageant was supposed to be held from 27th of march to 4th of april in indore but due to the rising covid cases in the country again that pageant has been postponed and so we are sticking to the online format of the pageant as of now and the offline pageant segment will happen when the situation gets better another thing that i want to mention here is the wild card entries so among the 27 finalists that have been shortlisted for the finale of the pageant there can be a certain number of wild card entries now this is not a mandatory criteria there may or may not be wild card entries in the pageant this is something that is based solely on the discretion of the management and there is no mandatory criteria that there will be a certain number of wild card entries it is completely variable and may or may not exist the next year or the year after that so that is not something that you should bank on you should bank on your shortlisting now like every pageant this pageant also has a certain grooming and training period and so the 27 finalists that make it to the finale of this pageant go through an intensive grooming period that is around over a month and this year this is happening online because of the current covid situation in the world now during this period there are over 25 sub contests and various activities and tasks given to the contestants they have various grooming sessions with uh, makeup experts, skin experts, fitness nutrition experts and a lot more is shared with the contestants so that they can prepare and groom themselves even better for the 9 day offline segment of the national pageant and one thing to note here is that this pageant organization is very focused on environmental activities and educating the underprivileged so a lot of the tasks and activities given to the contestants will be revolving around that theme and if you as an aspirant want to win this pageant that your social cause and your community work it would be a good idea to have that circling and revolving around similar topics as well. As of now, the 27 state finalists for the pageant this year are going through their online grooming period and they recently completed a tree plantation drive as well, which links back to the environmental focus of the pageant organization. As I mentioned, due to the rising current COVID cases, the offline segment of the pageant, that is the nine-day national pageant, has been postponed. So let's have our fingers crossed that it happens really, really soon and we will get to know who is the winner of Glam Anand Supermodel India this year. And that is all for today's episode. Everything that you need to know about Glam Under Supermodel India. I hope you guys found this video super helpful and informative. Let me know if you were planning on participating in this pageant or if you did not know about this pageant and I introduced you to a new national pageant already. As always, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.